In this presentation, uh, we are going to look at contingency tables. So suppose there are 100 students in a first year college intake, 44 are male studying computer science, 18 are male studying statistics, 16 are female and studying computer science, 22 are male studying statistics. So we assign names to the outcomes or the events. So uh, a student could be either male or female. So uh, if the student is male, we just call that, the, that event M. And if a student is female, we'll call that event F. Uh, CS, the student studies computer science. Uh, ST, the student studies statistics. So we go for, usually go for a very short name for the event, usually one or two letters. But you, you, as long as it um, makes sense, um, that any any sort of name is fine. But just uh, try avoid something that will be cause confusion. Anyway, so the the most effective way to handle this data is to draw up a table. We call this table a contingency table. So what is a contingency table? A contingency table is where all possible events for one variable are listed as row headings. So in this case, we could be talking about gender. And the events for that would be male and female. And in the second variable, we would have degree program. And they would be listed as column headings. Uh, we've just went for gender there and degree. They don't have to be, that doesn't have to be in the row and that doesn't be, have to be along the columns. It could have been the other way around. And each value entered in each cell of the table is the frequency of each joint occurrence. So earlier on I said that we had 44 males studying computer science. That's it there. And that's all the other information there as well. What I've also done here is I've included the marginal totals, the row totals and the column totals. So we have 62 males, 38 females, I have 60 studying computer science and I have 40 studying statistics. And altogether we have 100 students. So It's now easy to deduce the probability of each of the respective events, Look, just looking at those totals there. So the probability of CS, the probability that a randomly selected student studies computer science is 60% or 0 0.60. Statistics, uh, 40%, 40 out of 100, 0.40. Male, there were 62 male students, uh, 62 divided by 100, 0 0.62 or 62%. And likewise, 38%. Just as a quick remark, these two events are complements. These two events are also complements. That means both of them should add up, both of the values should add up to 1. Okay. So, moving on. The information that we were originally given. Uh, can be expressed as follows. Earlier on I said that we have 44 males studying computer science. So this symbol here is the intersection symbol in set theory, but we might verbalize that as AND. Okay, so the computer science AND male, CS AND M, we had 44 divided by 100, uh, likewise, for the rest, in the probability of studying computer science and female, 16 out of 100. Probability of studying statistics and male, 18 out of 100. And statistics and female, 22 out of 100. So that is the, we would call that, by the way, joint probabilities. Okay, so I'm going to use that phrase later on. Later on, as in other presentations. That is uh, the end of this presentation, though.